So this is known as the Bucky House. It's one of the oldest structures in Rockland. I think it's the second oldest sandstone house in Rockland County. Got to work with multiple people on how to figure out how to get into this county property with the assemblyman. The town was looking to restore this property. There's another historic uh, house just down the way and came to myself and Senator Carlucci at the time to figure out if there was some state funds to help restore. So we were both able to come up with about a half a million dollars, $500,000 to restore the house. You'll see how cool it is inside. And now they sort of use it for festivals. Students come here and learn from all the schools. And I think it was a great way to preserve some of our history and allow the public to use it. So come on in. Right, people were so small back then, right? <laughs> they were short and small. There's an upstairs here. Do you want to check it out? Yes. One of the reasons I like being in the legislature is get a chance to uh, to represent my community, get a little bit of funding, figure out ways to increase recreational and other opportunities, historical opportunities. Um, I grew up uh, here in Rockland County. I live about a quarter mile down the road. I grew up a few miles down in New City. And um, my first job in the legislature is to be part of our little corner here in Rockland County. And I take that job pretty seriously. I got a baby on the way in a few weeks, so. So my great uncle owned a funeral home in what is now still a restaurant, La Terraza. Gave a parcel over to his brother who built the house. So my roots kind of run deep here. Uh, you know, I love that aspect of the job. And it's really what I think uh, drew me towards like serving in public office. Now wait, a funeral home became a restaurant? Yeah, it's funny and they still have a lot of events there. So every once in a while, the, the owners probably don't like when I, when I tell the story, but I was there a few months ago for a charity dinner and I like to tell people about, you know, this is once a funeral home. And it, when you sit there and think about it, there's a lot of, it makes a great restaurant because there's a lot of different rooms. So you can have like one dinner for a large group in one place, still be serving other people in the other place. It's got a really intimate feel, but it was it's cut up like that because it was a funeral home. And uh, there's no ghosts, don't worry. So please, <laughs> Lanterasa. Lanterasa is a wonderful restaurant that I go often to and I want to. You're a nerd. I am a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love the functioning of government. So the Governmental Operations Committee may sound a little stiff, but it's got a large jurisdictional footprint. It deals with everything from like executive law and civil rights law to like the way the executive functions. So the Governmental Operations Committee may be a bit wonky, but it kind of fits me. <laughs>